Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into one of the most powerful libraries for building command line applications in Golang, the Cobra CLI package. If you've ever thought about creating CLI tools in Go, you're in the right place. So, what exactly is Cobra? Well, Cobra is a library used for creating powerful modern CLI apps. It's the backbone of some of the biggest CLI tools you might already know, like Kubernetes commands. With Cobra, we get structured and customizable command line tools complete with flags, subcommands, and all the features CLI users expect. Let's see what we are going to build. It is a simple CLI app that generates hex, base64, or UUID. Here is the description of the app. We will implement these commands, base64, hex, and UUID. We can look for help from the subcommand like this. Here is the usage of the command. Let's try this. This is generated hex of length 10. The UUID subcommand works like this. Base64 can also be generated. All right, let's get our hands dirty. First, we'll have to install Cobra. On its homepage, there is a GitHub link. Let's go there. Here is the command to install the package. If you haven't already, install it by running this command. We will also need Cobra command line. We do so with this command. Once you've installed Cobra, you're ready to start creating commands. We can create a new project structure with this scaffold command. This creates a new application. Let's have a look. Here is the main function. It just executes the command. The command is in the cmd package. Here we have root.go file. The root command is defined here. These are the short and long descriptions of the root command. This is the execute function that is executed in the main function. Let us set the short and long descriptions. We have put a simple description. You can be more descriptive. Now we will add subcommands to the root command. Let's look at the documentation. Here is the link to the documentation. We can create subcommands with this command. We will add hex command that generates hex strings. Now, in the project structure, there is a new file hex.go. Let's add both descriptions to this command. We have added an example of how this command is used. We are going to use the flag L which represents the length of the string requested. Let's define this flag in the init function. We can define flags like this. This is the command. This retrieves the flag set for the hex command. This method defines an integer flag. The P stands for persistent, meaning it defines both the long form and shorthand flag in one step. The first argument is the full name, length. The second argument is L, which is the shorthand to the flag. This is the default value, which will be used if the user does not specify the flag. In this case, a hexadecimal string of length 4 is generated by default. This is the help text that will be displayed when the user runs help command, describing the purpose of this flag. Now let's see how this command runs. This is a field in the Cobra command struct where we specify the function to execute when this command is called. Currently it just prints hex called. Let's implement this. First, we define a helper function that generates a hex string given the length of the requested hex string. 
it returns the hex string and an error if any. Let's go back to the run function. We begin by extracting the length flag from the command. Here, we first get the flags and then call the getIn method. We pass the string of the flag which we defined as length. This function returns the flag value and an error. Let's receive these return values. Now, call the generate hex string function to create a random hex string with the specified length. Now, we will handle the error. If generate hex string encounters an error, it prints the error message. Otherwise, it prints the generated hex string to the console. This subcommand is ready. Let's put this to the test. We first build the project. Here is the executable, secure random. Let's simply run the command. Here, it prints the usage of the command. This is the subcommand we added. The help command also prints the same message. Now let's see how we can get help about the subcommand. It is as simple as this. This is the long description of the subcommand. Detail about the flags is also provided. Let's generate a hex string with length of 10. And here it is. Here is another hex string. Now try 20. If we don't specify the length, it will generate a hex string of length 4. Similarly, we have created two more subcommands, base64 and UID. Base64 command creates base64 string. Here is how to use this command. Here is the UID command. This command does not need any flag. We will try this again. On the help page, we can see the new commands are added. Let's try them out. We can create a UUID with this command. And that's the basics of using Cobra CLI with Golang. We set up a root command, created subcommands and added flags. With Cobra, you can expand this structure to create complex CLI tools with nested commands and a wide variety of flags. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Golang tutorials. Let me know in the comments if you want a follow-up episode on advanced Cobra CLI features like persistent flags or command aliases. See you in the next episode.